15 minutes to go till the spine challenger and yeah um I'm probably not feeling as nervous as other years because I just I'm not expecting anything out of this one <laughs> in terms of any placing or time um but after a really tough year last year no racing and yeah I just felt like I'd kind of taken a step back and backwards um I thought this would be a fun way to remind myself that I can do these things and can run. Um, so I've done about three months training but at very low volume compared to what I normally would and yeah weather looks a bit rubbish, <laughs> windy. <laughs> um, so I kind of just feel like I just don't know how this is gonna go. I'm hoping I will still finish Sunday night um, rather than into Monday but we'll see. So I will, yeah, let's go. Let's see how this goes. We'll have a quick chat with the people that are going to cheer you up. They'll be back to set you up on time. Hey. They'll be out there a lot longer than you. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Men, so I didn't film there. Um, I cut myself, I'd had a fall, oh, so I needed a medic to stitch me up a little bit, clean me up. Um, yeah, and I've left in fourth again, so I'm all right with that. Wasn't expecting any placing, um, but quite a lot of women coming into Hebden just as I was leaving. extra layers on because it's so cold coming into Hebden. I'm just feeling wet and cold but it's really eased off with the rain and so actually I feel like I'm a bit too hot now so ah, might need to take my gloves off and so yeah just just missing the power on the hills that's where I've lost my fitness I kind of feel like I can plod all night but not necessarily uphill or at any speed but I'll do what I can which I've never done in the spine challenger but yeah just at top withens but finding it tough like 
normally I'm just take for granted I can power through the night. Um, but my legs are tired and I feel unfit. So I'm just going to have some party rings. I've checked my phone and had some lovely messages. So yeah, just going to... Well, I can't pull out here. I'm in the middle of a moor at two o'clock. So carry on and we'll see how we get on. Well, from where I did my last vlog saying that it was all a bit tough and then I started thinking how much my head hurts. But I then decided to treat myself to switching on my phone and oh, I just saw so many messages from friends, from people I don't even know that well and everybody just wooding me on and it's just amazing and that and the party rings and the paracetamol are working for now I feel so much better and yeah so thanks guys I'm trying to trying to smile I am smiling but you probably can't see that because it's dark anyway I have some running or walking to do <laughs> morning <laughs> I've just left Lovisdale where there was some amazing tri club giving me coffee um, and offering me all sorts of food but I decline it all I don't want to stay there because it's already well I know I shouldn't compare to other years but I was a lot further on when it got light <laughs> and I just can't stop thinking about chem end when I'm even more tired but never mind let's just think about now and this step and I think other than the weather, well, no, I mean, instead of the weather, the most challenging thing that I've found is just how soggy the ground is. Every path has been a stream and every field has been a big sponge. So, yeah, I'm like, just can't wait to dry my feet. That's, that's all I want at the end of this race fluffy towel to dry my feet anyway so I'm just gonna go up to Pinhaw and that's kind of the last big hill before Malam so that'll probably give me quite a lift cool I'm just on the fields to Malam it's sunny so we have to scratch my eye and you have got a close-up of my car um yeah it's sunny but really cold and I've just been struggling on this bit, it just felt so slow but I've got such a nice group of mates that are all texting me saying that I'm fine and closing down the next person and kind of keep me going but yeah I'm just breaking it down now, next road crossing try and get to Malham, then worry about Malham Cove pretty good I am gonna go out <laughs> I was um, put on all my clothes had lots to eat and set off just to see how it was on Malham Cove in terms of how fast I could move and how good I could feel um, uh, it's all right and then near the top um, Matt and Jimmy the photographers came and they really cheered me up like it's such a boost I'm like, it made me miss Marcus so much. <laughs> but he can't come and see me on this race. He'll be there at the end. Um, yeah, and then when we were up having a laugh on Malam Cove, um, a woman behind me came past and I, I just didn't care. It was great. Great not to have that pressure and stress about, oh gosh, what do I do now? <laughs> do I go and chase it? <laughs> um, actually, it's like, it's not what this weekend's about. And it's made me realise how stressful I find it when it is trying to hold places and things like that. Um, and I just felt really, I don't know, like, I've been thinking how slow I am and how much I've lost my legs. But I'm like only probably about four hours off, like last year's times was three for a bit. So it's really not, it's not ridiculous. So. I don't know why I'm stressed about that. So the plan is I'm going to go into Malham Tarn checkpoint where I can get a cup of tea 
I'm gonna sort a few bits out. Um, yeah, and then as long as I'm feeling good after kind of 10 minutes, I am gonna go and do Fountain's Farm. I've just broken it down really. It seemed a bit much to do 26 miles from here to the end. Um, so I'm like, right, just go out, just start off on Fountain's Fell. You can always come back. If you manage that, start off on Penny again. You can always pull out and drop down to Horton or go for it. And then it's a nice, easy descent into Horton. And, you know, I think again, when I'm racing, it's must not stop at checkpoints for very long or minimum staff it's always rushing and now i know that i can just go in have a cup of tea so out my head touch battery whatever it is i need to do and yeah it's kind of i guess seeing these races from a bit of a different view which is always good so yeah i just got the road not far now because we're getting to the woods to manham town checkpoint where i'm hoping John Bamba is going to have a lovely hot cup of tea for me. focus on climbing again. It's just come out and I want the last bit to pause. And I think surreal is probably the word to describe it. I've never stayed up that late and I think I just we had to stop at Horton but otherwise I just ran or walked really. A bit running. Yeah, so I'm not really sure where that night's gone. Um but nearly back and having a big scramble because we need to be in Nottingham for my stepdaughter's ice skating and I've left. Should have run quicker. Anyway, let's go get a cup of tea. Time. And here we are in Hawes and sprinting to the finish line. In my head, I'm sprinting. And near the end of the adventure, which has just been amazing. I can just think this race gives you so much and it's never the same. Third three times they're all completely different races and this one's completely different with my mindset of just just getting myself along rather than competing and um I think I'll have finished fifth so that's not bad but it wasn't my goal so yeah I think it's yeah I've been out so much longer so normally I'd finish Sunday evening and now it's Monday morning and I've had two nights without sleep so I need to make sure I recover properly and yeah probably look awful. <laughs> I still haven't seen what my eyes look like in my cut because there was no, I haven't had any mirrors so yeah I might get a shot <laughs> but it's just been just been br brilliant just a privilege to just move through day night like you just your whole focus becomes that journey and yeah that is a privilege so glad i did it would not do it again unless i was fit <laughs> and out to win it maybe <laughs> because it's so much harder um taking it slower and Congratulations, well done. Thank you very much.
just on the field by Tamalam, which I just don't like this bit, and I've just been 